go out into the pit, you'll actually, once I explain this, you'll, oh, okay, you'll get it. It'll be a lot easier. So you have a total of 300 feet that you have to dig. Each seam is anywhere from 16 to 20 feet thick, except for seam four. Seam four is about 32 feet thick, but about 12 feet of it is what we consider waste coal. We consider it dirt because it's poor quality, so we don't even, don't even use it. Um, so what we have to do is chuck all this out. First, first an overburden. So this overburden. And this is chucked out. <coughs> so this will all be chucked out. This is about 100 and 120 feet of overburden that has to be removed to get to the first seam of coal. So we do a lot of blasting here. We've Blast this morning, actually, if you came about an hour earlier, you would have seen it. It's, um, we fill anywhere from 20 to 400 holes. They're about 20 feet deep, and they're in the shape of a cone. And we'll fill them with ANFO, ammonium nitrate and diesel fuel mixture of that. And uh, we also use a, a distinct type of blasting. Uh, yeah, there's different types. So it's not just a big mushroom cloud. It's actually way more organized, much more structured, and uh, it actually helps with handles. We don't have to rehandle this round. It's called cast blasting. So what it's like is it's kind of like slicing bread. You're going to have <clears throat> this piece and you're going to settle all your blasting and you're going to direct it and design it so that it'll fall this way. Because what we want to do is take these inner burdens and end up filling this hole. It's called back filling as we're moving forward. So we're not leaving a big crater in the ground and this also helps with reclamation. So we're filling this hole up, and this is what the drag line does. These are each about 40 feet thick each, and so he will take all that and dump it behind him. Hence uh, this new spoil pile. He'll make new spoil piles. <coughs> so does the drag line sit at the bottom? It actually depends what stage we're in. So uh, it depends. They'll make a bench, so if he is digging dumping, he's trying to reach over here, he wants to put it behind him. So they'll make a bench for him to sit on and he'll take his big arms and he'll put his bucket that marker and he'll dump it right behind him. Then they'll truck out scene four with all the trucks. Uh, we'll blast it. We do a lot of blasting, like I said. And uh, <coughs> that gets trucked out with all our haul trucks. Um, then he'll get rid of this and dump it behind him. And then we'll have scene three to nine out. And then we start the process all over again. So uh, haul trucks. Um, we used to have 45 ton haul trucks, which very small. I don't actually think they even make those anymore. Um, now we have 150 ton haul trucks. And they weigh 150 tons, and they can carry 150 tons. So they are massive. They're like big beasts out there. And uh, we have two loaders. We actually have the biggest dozer west of the Mississippi. Um, <clears throat> each loader, one loader can carry 24 tons in its bucket. The other loader can carry 15 tons in its bucket. So that's actually quite a bit. I mean, you have to think about it. One truck weighs about a ton itself, like a pickup truck. So you're putting 150 pickup trucks in the back of this haul truck, or you're putting 15 pickup trucks in one loader. So it's pretty, pretty amazing. 